Uh, we started with a diminished chord workout uh, based on your song in G, and I pointed out that the leading tone, the second degree of the scale, the fourth, and the flat six, you can use a diminished chord in any of those, and they function like a five. So, so there's your G, five one. The cool thing was um, uh, coming from above them chromatically. Okay, um, then we talked about blue balsa, which modulates from C minor to D flat major, and they're based on a 2 5 on each. So the 2 5 and C is. 2 5 and D flat is. I'm going to take a second to play those two fives a little bit, and then the whole change is. Um, and the modulation. And then right back. And that's based on that simple idea that. Uh, half diminished D, if you just lower the root, becomes a D flat major 7. So that play gets used in the song. And the scales we, we learned were the C minor with the raised 7, and then the D flat major. And then we did that in the upper octave. Whoops. Those two scales, the low octaves or the high octaves solo. Then we went and reviewed your um, row of minor, natural minor scales in strong position. Shifting for the B when you need to. Uh, but the important thing I want you to do, with, I want you to do those rows with, in minor and major, but I want you to add um, alternate picking, pure alternate picking. Repeated note picking. Or you could do triplets, triplet, 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 Or sixteenth notes, one and a two and a. That's most of today. See you, bud.